Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's Kiki, which is, is Lisa Rinna telling the truth about booking a new movie role, or is she just jealous of Garcelle and Sutton Strack's success? We're going to get into it. But before we do, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. Check out our description box down below and shop our love collection. So with that, you guys, let's dive right on in. So this is according to Reality Blurb, and then we, of course, we're going to talk about it. All right. So it says Lisa Renna books movie role amid Real Housewives of Beverly Hills pause. Reveals husband Harry Hamlin had to undergo undergo surgery. First up, it should read Lisa Renna allegedly books a movie role amid possible Real Housewives of Beverly Hills firing. But let's continue. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, quote, villain, Lisa Renna, is keeping busy while Real Housewives of Beverly Hills has been put on pause amid an especially, quote, dark and intense season 12. The reality star and actress took to her Instagram stories on February, on, on I'm sorry, on Friday, December 16th, to announce her return to acting. Lisa posted a picture of herself wearing a black polka dot blouse and matching trousers while posing in front of a mirror and captioned the screen grab, quote, fun way to end the new year, just booked a movie. So that's what's on the screen. That was on her Instagram story. She's claiming that she booked a movie role. Okay. Now this is why I'm like, is this chick lying? Then it says, though the title, genre, and network the movie will be aired on are unknown. Okay, so I could go on my Instagram and I could be like, ha, you guys, a fun way to end the year, just booked a movie role. I could do that. Doesn't mean the, like, but there's no title, there's no genre, there's no network, there's nothing. Is that actually this? at, you know, NBC, whatever, you know, I'm so excited to work with this director. I'm so excited. It doesn't make sense. Like I need, I need the receipts, Rena. I need the receipts. Okay. Now let's keep going. Lisa is clearly excited to get back to work. <laughs> if there's actually work or maybe she's talking about one of those peacock movies like i think the housewife holidays one just dropped with like karen huger's in it um who else is in it some other of those people are in it anyway the rena beauty mogul broke onto the acting scene in the early 90s portraying billy reed on the daytime soap opera days of our lives before leaving the daytime drama in 1995 this will be lisa's first role other than appearing as herself since 2021 when she, when she returned to her old soap stomping grounds and started Peacock's Days of Our Lives Beyond Salem miniseries. Listen, I'm not trying to bash Lisa Rinna too much, but isn't it kind of sad that you can't even get an actual acting role as somebody else on Days of Our Lives when that was where you were like actually an actress that they actually had you play yourself on a soap anyway let's keep going lisa is not the only one whose movie career has seen a wave of success lisa's famous actor husband and once people's sexiest man alive harry hamlin also booked his quote first major studio film in 40 years after appearing in several television shows and series over the years in a since-deleted post, well, we got the post. It's right there. All right, you guys. Um, in a since-deleted post, Lisa Prey's quote, stud Harry Hamlin on Instagram, calling him a risk taker for filming and, at the time, controversial movie role in which he played a gay man in the first gay love story called Making Love. I'd like to share a little story about my husband, 
40 years ago, he starred in a movie for 20th Century Studios called Making Love, Lisa wrote under the photo. She continued, it was the first gay love story, controversial and groundbreaking. 40 years later, Harry just got his first studio movie. Talk about tenacity and standing your ground and risk-taking and being an effing stud. Harry has previously recalled how the role caused him to be blacklisted by Hollywood and lose out on promising movie roles. Listen, Harry, I don't know if that's true. Like, is it true that the, that you, you played a gay person in a movie 40 years ago and that's why you were blacklisted and lost out on promising movie roles? I don't know if that's true. I think sometimes people use stuff like that as an excuse if their career hasn't taken off or maybe they're not getting roles that they thought they were going to get. Why would he be blacklisted for that? I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. Like, you know, being an actor, being a musician, being an artist, you know, sometimes it can be tough. And sometimes, you know, you take the jobs you can get and there's no shame in that, you know. So I don't know. And I always thought Harry Hamlin was, you know, let's put all of the not to disregard it or diminish it because we already know there are so many allegations. I'll say allegations because I don't want to get in trouble about Harry Hamlin being physically and sexually abusive to Julian Phillips and to some other people in the industry. So maybe that's why you were blacklisted. Maybe that's why you weren't getting roles. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's because you did this one movie 40 years ago. But again, those are the rumors. That's what's out there. But let's keep going. Okay. Speaking of Harry, unfortunately, it was recently revealed by Lisa that Harry had to undergo undergo soldier, shoulder surgery. Lisa posted a black and white photo of her and Harry looking demure at a dinner table and captioned it, H8 has shoulder, shoulder surgery. That's a tongue tie. Shoulder, shoulder surgery. Um, anyway, and I'm his nurse. Pray for him. Truth be told, he told me I'm an excellent nurse. And then she said, hashtag not nurse ratchet. See, that's the thing. Lisa always has to do the absolute most. Shut up, Lisa. Lisa's post was met with an outpour of concern from friends, as well as her real housewives of Beverly Hills co-stars. Dirty Diana Jenkins left a serious heart a series of heart emojis in the comment section and ding dong Dorit Kimsley wrote, Oh, we wish you better Harry. You're in great hands. Followed by a black heart and praying hand emojis. Those are also on the screen. Aside from Lisa and Harry's movies careers being set back in motion. Allegedly. Lisa recently made online waves after her co-star and her best friend, Erica Jane, posted to social media that she and Lisa's contract for season 13 of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills have been renewed. Bravo has yet to comment. The franchise is currently on hiatus and expected to resume filming in early 2023. See, this is why I don't believe a word Lisa said. I don't know if this is her new publicist planting this story. I don't know why she's saying this stuff, because again, None of the contracts have been confirmed. So Erica Jane reposting that they that their contracts have been renewed. Lisa Renna co-signing that the contracts have been, new, been renewed. Those are lies. That's not true. Nobody has a new contract yet. Nobody knows. And the reason why I don't believe Lisa Renna, again, is because there's no receipts. What's the name of the movie? Who's directing it? Who are the co-stars? What network is it going to be on? Or what streaming platform? It just doesn't make any sense. And another reason why I think it's jealousy is because, as we know, Lisa Renna's fake uh, fake Twitter account, fake Instagram account at Woke Stan Batty is still trying to come for Sutton Strack and Garcelle Bouvet. And I'm just like get a life, move on, let the ish go. So they tweeted out the show's villain versus the real villains. And they're saying that the show villain is Erica and Lisa and the real villain villains are Sutton and Garcelle Bouvet. Now, as we all know, this is a bunch of BS and nothing but jealousy. And again, baddie woke Stan, like calm down, get a life, get a hobby. Lisa Renna, calm down. And another big reason why I think this is a lie is because I think Lisa might be jealous that Sutton and Garcelle Bouvet's acting career is hotter than hers. 
Now, Sutton's not a, quote, actress, as we know, but we do know that she's best friends with Jennifer Tilly. And we do know that Sutton has booked, you know, I think before, probably smaller acting gigs, but she's also booked, I believe, playing herself in Chucky, the Chucky series. She was seen filming that. So Sutton's booked and busy doing acting gigs. And Garcelle is booked and busy doing acting gigs. I believe Garcelle has booked... um, shows and movies and all of that so garcelle is booked and busy right now that's why she couldn't come to the people's choice awards because she was booked and busy she was on set and we all know that garcelle has actually been a working actress all of these years a working actress a working model she's been booked and busy is she doing these like big blockbusters no but like who is who cares it doesn't matter she has been consistently working and now she's been working even more given the fact that, you know, she is a breakout star of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. It only helped her acting career, whereas Lisa Renna can only book a role playing herself on a soap opera. So is there some jealousy going on here? Is Lisa Renna trying to act like I'm booked and busy too? I'm acting too. So is Harry. We're both booked and busy. And I know the stuff against Harry Hamlin, the allegations, but that aside, Harry has also been a working actor. You know, he has been in TV shows and movies and series and all of that stuff. So he's also been a working actor. And that's nothing to, um, you know, put down. You know, if you're an actor and you're working, who cares if it's a big studio or not? Who cares? You know, you're working and you're getting paid to do what you love. That's something to be proud of. And I think that Lisa Renna is feeling left out. I think that she's feeling very jealous. And I think that's why she's putting out these fake Instagram posts saying she's booked a movie role. Well, what movie, boo-boo? What movie? You know, don't say you booked a role and then don't tell us what the role is. Or else just, you know, be quiet and sit down until you can tell us what the role is. You see what I'm saying? So that's kind of how I feel on that one, you guys. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. Are you like me and you think that, you know, Lisa Renna is just being really thirsty and she, again, always tells on herself with this fake account, I think that she's jealous. I think that she's feeling really thirsty. I think she's worried that she's going to get fired from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And that's why she's putting out these fake, you know, subliminal messages. Oh, I booked a role, but I'm not going to tell you the movie. Because Sutton's booked and busy acting. And, and Garcelle is booked and busy acting with actual roles that we can see. We know Garcelle's doing movies and TV shows. We know Sutton is also acting. Seems to me it's all jealousy, but put it down below. But before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below. With that, you guys, I love you, and I will talk to you next time. Bye. Welcome to Sugar Pills, a practical guide to self-care, where your host, writer, actor, and producer, Candy Washington, helps you live a more joyful life with a cheeky dash of pop culture news. Be sure to subscribe, leave a five-star review, and join the conversation on Instagram at Candy Washington. Let's go.